welcome back to my channel so I just want to share how I made these um, pom pom charms and if you want to see how I made these memory dex cards I will link it below so the first thing that I'm gonna be using is this bow these are some pink bows that I got from Aliexpress and then these lobster clasps uh, the bead caps I got at Hobby Lobby, it's the metal gallery, uh, and um, two two inch high pin, eye pins, one six millimeter jump ring. This is a side cutters. These are on um, flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, and another set of flat nose pliers. They just uh, they're different. And then pom-poms. I got these pom-poms from Carmen. She's for your life, real wife on YouTube. Thank you so much for these, Carmen. They um really put me to like try to make something different. So the first thing I'm gonna put in here is um some bead caps. The one bead cap, I should say. And then I'm just going to try to find what the center would be on this pom-pom. You just kind of, you know, keep looking for it and until you get the center of the pom-pom. Turn out super cute. So now I'm just going to cut a small piece of the wire. And then I'm going to grab my round nose pliers. And I'm going to create a loop. But instead of just stopping uh, at one loop, I'm going to round it all the way to the end of the pom-pom. That way it is very secure. Okay, so now I'm going to do the pink pom-pom. Just like the other one, I'm going to add a bead cap and then I'm going to add these um, one pom pom to the eye pin. So now I'm just going to cut a little bit of the wire just like I did to the other one. And then I'm just going to, before I make the loop to close it off, I'm going to add it to the previous loop. And then I'm going to grab my round nose pliers and um, start uh, turning uh, into a circle. But I'm going to make sure that that loop from the other pom-pom is in the loop before I keep and continue to uh, make that loop on the uh, other pom-pom. And they will be very secure when you do it this way. So now I um I'm gonna use this jump ring. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Put it at the top of one of the sides of the pom poms, and then I'm gonna add the lobster class. And now I'm just going to close the jump ring back up. And these are heavy gauge jump rings. So I really like the heavy gauge because they don't break as 
easily as the um, thinner ones. So now I'm going to add um, the bow to the bottom of the charm. I need a bigger jump ring. So I think this one is 9 millimeters. I'm just going to open it. And the first thing I'm going to do is add it to the bow through the middle piece of the bow that way um, it's secure in there so I was able to add the jump ring onto this bow and now I'm going to connect the bow to the bottom of the pom pom charm I'm going to close the jump ring. And that is it. These turned out super cute and simple and, and very, very inexpensive. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, add these, uh, this charm to uh, the first memory dex card that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a hole on the acetate. I'm using my crop dial, but you can use any hole punches to do this. I didn't want to ruin the stitching, so like I tried to do it um, in a spot where it wasn't like in the way so I'm gonna go ahead and add this jump ring um, to the memory text card and you'll see why I added it um, when I'm close to finishing up So here I'm finally done putting on this jump ring. And what I'm going to do is just like attach the uh, clasp onto the jump ring so it'll dangle real nice. And um, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe if um if you would like and thank you so much for watching i'll see you the next time bye